Our title, our title of the research article is Association of Physical Activity on the Academic Performance of Undergraduate Physiotherapy Students at Sin Institute of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Now, every speaker has told us about the physical activity and its benefits, so I'm going to go through fast here. Physical activity is crucial for health and wellness, particularly in children, adolescents. It increases oxygen and blood circulation, improves the nervous system, it reduces obesity, diabetes, it also reduces the chances of having hypertension and cardiovascular problems. One more thing that we all have uh, known so far is it, it is very helpful for mental health. And students especially, they, they go through so much uh, mental stress during their studying years. So with increased level of physical activity, it affects their academic performance also. And in Pakistan, many people are unaware of the benefits of being physically active. With university students adopting sedentary lifestyle leads to lack of separate time or for staying fit. So students often prioritize their academic success, neglecting their health and physical activity. The link between, the link between academic performance and physical activity is questioned, especially among undergraduates who study long hours and exposed to screens. Physical activity is inseparable uh, in physiotherapy training, and my foundation degree is physical therapy. I'm a doctor of physical therapist. So mostly physiotherapy students, they, they have this on their fingertips. In each semester, in each year, they do know the benefits of physical activity and exercise. So we wanted to know that, we wanted to evaluate the association of physical activity on the academic performance of undergraduate DPD students at SIPMR. Now, the, the study design was cross-sectional study. Study duration was from June till August 2021 in SIPMR. We used non probability purpose in sampling and the sample size was 365 DPD students. Participants were second to fifth year undergraduate DPD students. Uh, first year students weren't into at that time and the exclusion criteria was any student who had physical limitation was excluded. They were not enrolled in the study. The outcome measures included self-designed survey questionnaire, um, that is IPEC-SF, that is International Physical Activity Questionnaire short form. Uh, Professor Sodic really explained this in detail, but uh, I'm also going to tell that it basically assess the type of intensity of physical activity and sitting time that people do as part of their daily living, uh, according to met minute per week. The major outcome measure was the last semester's GPA, which was representing their academic performance. The survey questionnaire was uh, circulated among the class representative of each year, and they circulated through social media, uh, through social media network WhatsApp to all the DPD students. Analysis was done on SPSS and post evaluation trials were tests were performed. Results showed that 52% of students had low level activity, and the type of exercise was 48.99% of students spent more time in light activity, whereas 24.8% performed vigorous activity. Now, 78.9% females and 21.1% males perform moderate exercise, whereas 85.6% females and 14.45% males, they perform light exercise. Again, I want to mention this, that uh, there were more female participants. That is why this doesn't have any relevance or doesn't show any significance because there were more participants, uh, more participants were females. There was only one female in fourth year who had GPA around 1 to 2 range, whereas all students studying in fifth year had GPA in 3.1 to 4 range. 35.1% of students of third year had GPA in 3.1 to 4 range. This was the main thing that we, uh, that we were trying to find out. But before that, I want to tell there was no significant difference between studying years and total physical activity scores. And 50% of students with GPA around 2.1 to 3, and 51.7% of students with GPA around 3.1 to 4, they were classified as low activity level students. There was no significance found between physical activity and academic performance among SIPMR students. Now, we had this assumption that mainly because physiotherapy students, they learn from get-go all the benefits of physical activity. We do know on our, on our fingertips, we do know how much beneficial is physical activity to everyone. And also we should do exercise, engage in that. But the results showed some opposite uh, things. Like it showed that high GPA students also have low physical activity levels. But because there were met, there were not many studies in Pakistan that were focusing on academic performance. Because most these students they study, they forget, they have to move, they have this sedentary lifestyle, and because they have laptops, iPads, 
they continue to study to get good grades because they want to achieve so much in life. But often they forget that they have to move, they have to do workouts, they need to do physical activity. So this study, all of all the authors try to emphasize on the need to perform physical activity in daily living. And there were numerous studies done in China which showed that there are evidence that if students they do more physical activity, they, they even walk, it has good good effect on their mind, get good effect on their nervous system, and that could help in the blood circulation and further they can perform good in their, they can excel in their careers. So the missing part, the missing part of the puzzle was we had a lot of limitations. Like it was a self-reported data. There was a risk of memory loss, inaccurate information. And we couldn't access the academic performance, like we couldn't access the scores directly. We, we were, we asked the students themselves uh, which grade they had, but because we were not granted the permission to get access to students' personal scores. So this might be a bias, bias that uh, might be present there. Also, we wanted to have accelerometers. As everyone, every speaker told that, uh, that accelerometers aren't available that uh, easy. As a physiotherapist, I really wished I, I could you know, measure all the activity levels properly, not self-design. Okay. In the end, I just want to show this image. I took this from WHO's website. Basically, this image shows that one of the WHO's global target for NCDs reduction is insufficient physical activity. And by the year 2025, they have a goal to have 10% relevant reduction in prevalence of insufficient physical activity. Hope that the results of the study would be considered and acknowledge the worth of physical activity by designing the curriculum and promote opportunities for students to participate in extracurricular physical activities on behalf of researchers that has tried to answer session questions in the education process that many researchers could not explore. Undergraduates face their great challenges to your academic years to get good results which takes a mental toll on their health, both physically and mentally. This justifies that there is a need of having regular physical classes for the betterment of students' health along with its influence on their uh, grades. Thank you so much for your patience and listening. I wish all the best to all the participants. Thank you.